The warm and intelligent Labrador Retriever is America's number one breed registered with the American Kennel Club. Even non-dog people can recognize a lab, and artists and photographers have captured their image countless times usually as the loyal companion, waiting patiently by their owner's side. Built for sport, the lab is muscular and athletic. They have a short, easy care coat, friendly demeanor, keen intelligence, and plenty of energy. Devotion to this breed runs deep, labs are loving, people-oriented dogs who live to serve their families, and owners and fans sometimes liken their labs to angels. The breed originated on the island of Newfoundland, off the northeastern Atlantic coast of Canada. Originally called the St. John's Dog, after the capital city of Newfoundland, they were bred to help the local fishermen hauling nets, fetching ropes, and retrieving fish that had escaped the nets as well as to be a family dog. Today, most labs skip the hard labor and spend their days being pampered and loved by their people. However, some labs still serve as indispensable working dogs. The lab's sweet nature makes them an excellent therapy dog, visiting homes for the elderly in hospitals, and their intelligence makes them an ideal assistance dog for those with disabilities. They also excel as a search and rescue dog or as a retriever for hunters, thanks to their athletic build, strong nose, and courageous nature. And labs have also become the breed to beat at dog sports such as agility and obedience competitions, especially obedience. There's one dog job that labs are hopeless at, watchdog. In fact, owners say their sweet, helpful lab is likely to greet an intruder and happily show them where the goods are stashed. Labrador retrievers have proven their usefulness and versatility throughout the breed's history, easily shifting from fisherman's companion, to field retriever, to show dog, to modern working dog. One role has remained constant, wonderful companion and friend. Highlights. Labrador retrievers love, love, love to eat, and become obese very quickly if overfed. Limit treats, give your lab plenty of exercise, and measure out regular meals rather than leaving food out all the time. And be warned that the lab's large appetite extends to people food and even inedible items. Labradors will forage in garbage, counter surf, and can make a meal out of chewed up items like children's toys. Labrador retrievers were bred for physically demanding jobs, and they have the high energy that goes along with being a working breed. They need at least 30 to 60 minutes of exercise a day. Without it, they can vent their pent-up energy in destructive ways, such as barking and chewing. Labs have such a good reputation that many people think they don't need to bother with training. But labs are large, energetic animals, and like all dogs, they need to be taught good canine manners. Sign up for puppy and obedience classes as soon as you bring your lab home. Many people think of labs as a hyperactive breed. Lab puppies are definitely lively, but most will slow down a bit as they grow up. However, they usually remain fairly active throughout their lives. Labrador retrievers are not known to be escape artists, but with the right motivation such as a whiff of something yummy a lab will take off. Make sure your lab has current identification tags and a microchip. Personality. The lab has the reputation of being one of the most sweet-natured breeds, and it's well-deserved. They're outgoing, eager to please, and friendly with both people and other animals. Aside from a winning personality, they have the intelligence and eagerness to please that make them easy to train. Training is definitely necessary because this breed has a lot of energy and exuberance. The working heritage of the lab means they are active. This breed needs activity both physical and mental, to keep them happy. There is some variation in the activity level of labs, some are rowdy, others are more laid back. All thrive on activity. Temperament. The ideal disposition is one of a kindly, outgoing, tractable nature, eager to please and non-aggressive towards man or animal, the breed standard says. The Labrador has much that appeals to people, his gentle ways, intelligence, and adaptability make him an ideal dog. Labs are a sweet-natured breed, outgoing and eager to please their humans. They are friendly with new people and animals they meet. Tops in the personality department, labs are also highly intelligent, 
making them very trainable. They do have lots of energy, so you'll need to stay active with them, but they are also happy to relax at home for family movie night. Some argue labs coloring affects their temperament, but there is no scientific evidence to back that up. What many veterinarians do find, however, is that each lab is an individual with his own personality. Some labs are more mellow, while others can be higher energy. Some tend to be more anxious dogs. And you can even have a lab that is a bit of a goofball. But no matter what personality your lab puppy grows to develop, one thing is always the same. They are always good family dogs, says Pam Nichols, DVM, president of the American Animal Hospital Association. President Bill Clinton had a lab, Buddy, during his time in the White House. His family adopted another chocolate lab, Seamus, after Clinton's presidency ended. Living Needs Labs adore their owners. They will want to live indoors and sleep as close as possible to you, or even on you. They like to get outside to play, but don't leave them unattended for too long as they may prove they have a naughty side. Labs have been known to dig and chew, so invest in plenty of sturdy chew toys to keep yours entertained. Labs are an ideal fit for families, as they are happy to bounce around the yard with children. If properly introduced and trained, labs can also get along well with other pets in the home including cats, other dogs, and small animals. Beyond retrieving game on hunting trips, the hardworking breed has also served in a variety of fields, including drug and explosive detection, search and rescue, therapy, and assistance to those with disabilities. They are competitors, doing well in agility, field tests, and at dog shows. And they absolutely love to swim. Children and other pets. The Labrador Retriever not only loves kids, they enjoy the commotion they bring with them. They'll happily attend a child's birthday party, and even willingly wear a party hat. Like all dogs, however, they need to be trained how to act around kids and kids need to be taught how to act around the dog. As with every breed, you should always teach children how to approach and touch dogs, and always supervise any interactions between dogs and young children to prevent any biting or ear or tail pulling on the part of either party. Teach your child never to approach any dog while they're eating or sleeping or to try to take the dog's food away. No dog, no matter how friendly, should ever be left unsupervised with a child. If a lab has had plenty of exposure to other dogs, cats, and small animals, and has been trained how to interact with them, they'll be friendly with other pets, too. Fun Facts In 2020, for the 29th year in a row, the lab was voted the number one most popular breed. King Buck was the model Labrador Retriever featured on a US postage stamp created in 1959. Another famous lab is Ben of Hyde, born in 1899. Considered the first documented yellow lab, today most lines of yellow labs can be traced to his bloodline. Perhaps the most notable movie about a lab is 2008's Marley and Me. The star of the show, Marley, is actually several different labs who played the role to reflect the various age stages of Marley during the film. President Bill Clinton had a lab, Buddy, during his time in the White House. His family adopted another chocolate lab, Seamus, after Clinton's presidency ended. Are you thinking about getting a Labrador Retriever? Let us know what you decide in the comments below. And if you know someone who's thinking about getting a Labrador Retriever, please share this with them. If you liked this video check out our website, the link is in the description of this video. Otherwise, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.